this next video is not our typical YouTube video. It's not about a state park. It's not about any terrific and beautiful national forest. What it's about is how Rhonda and I got to this point. You see, throughout our travels, many people have asked how Rhonda and I mustered up the bravery to sell our possessions and embark on a cross-country journey, leaving our loved ones behind. Well, today, I want to share with you that it wasn't always like that. It began with finding ourselves and summoning the courage to take the leap of faith. As a diligent, hard-working husband and a father of four, I have always perceived myself as an observer of life from the confines of my office window. It's, there is an unexplainable feeling of being confined within the routine of adult responsibilities that always held me back. I couldn't figure out what was causing my worries, whether it was concerns about my family's opinions, or wanting to do something else, or just the idea of happiness wasn't destined for everyone, and especially someone like me. I know this next thing is a little bit overreach, but I want to get my point across. I want you to imagine being at the Daytona 500, surrounded by your friends who all eagerly participating in the race themselves. Even strangers are beckoning you to join them on the track. However, you find yourself constantly seated in the stands, reluctant to venture into the unfamiliar territory because it provides a sense of security and comfort. As you sit alone in the stands, the sun sets, the crowd disperses, and the racing track becomes deserted. You find yourself left there, seated in the stands, engulfed by darkness. While others may be indulged in the excitement of their dreams and their pursuit of their own desires, it's an important to remember that the pursuit of fulfilling life is not reserved just for them alone. Your aspirations, your dreams, and what you seek out in life are equally deserving within reach. Remember the racetrack while your friends were enjoying themselves and fully immersing themselves in the moment? What were you doing? Were you just sitting in the sidelines, playing the role of a side character? They were making the most out of their life while you observed from a distance. You are not alone, because when I look at my own life, when I'm feeling trapped in my office, I realize this story called life had no plot for me. As a responsible father and a side character in my own story, I couldn't help but be confined. For most of my adult life as a father, I played the role of a sidekick, preventing myself from pursuing what truly mattered to me. I held back, refraining from taking risks and exploring things that I desired to do. I convinced myself that it was responsible behavior as an adult. Yet, as I sat in my office, gazing out the window, life continued to pass me by. The only obstacles in my way were the internal voices telling me that being responsible meant accepting a secondary role in life. As I walked down the halls of my office, I would come across individuals that you can see they have undeniable feelings of confidence and purpose. These are the ones who seem to be the main character of their own lives, juggling multiple responsibilities effortlessly. In my own experience, I once fell into this misconception that being a main character meant being self-centered and arrogant. I believe that such individuals lack consideration for others However, I soon realized that this was far from the truth. Being a main character doesn't necessarily equate to selfishness. Rather, it signifies a positive outlook on life and an unwavering determination to succeed. As for myself, I've always strived to remain humble in my comfortable existence. Is it wrong to be selfish? I was mistaken in thinking that being selfish, such as self-centered, Thoughtless and pursuing one's own desires without consideration of others is what it means to be a main character in your own life. Although main characters may exhibit such behaviors at time of selfishness, I suppose that actually would make them more kind of like villains? I don't know. But let me return to my main point immediately because my main point is that being 
a main character isn't about being rude. It's about living life on your own terms and treating yourself with the same kindness you would show your closest companion. It's important to prioritize self-care, nurturing yourself, filling your own needs, and pursuing the life goals that bring you fulfillment. However, this does not mean being selfish or refusing to compromise with others. It's crucial to consider how our actions might impact others accordingly. The key to having the bravery to acknowledge your own worth and engage in activities that bring you joy. As a self-proclaimed people pleaser, I must confess that I genuinely enjoy making other people happy. It gives me great satisfaction to go above and beyond for someone, someone that I don't even know sometimes, even if it means putting myself in harm's way. Helping others is truly a rewarding experience that I continue to embrace. However, it is important to recognize that there is a fine line between being a people pleaser and neglecting one's own well-being. After all, if we don't take care of ourselves, who will? As the main character of a story, it entails more than just having the courage to sacrifice oneself for another person. It also means having the capability to protect oneself by intercepting any potential dangers. Does this concept resonate with anybody else? I sincerely hope that my explanation has clarified things up. While reading an article the other day, I stumbled upon a piece that went directly into the five regrets that individuals often have when facing with their final moments. What caught my interest the most was the fifth regret. The regret was, I wish that I would have let myself be happier. What truly captured my attention was the number one regret. I wish I had the courage to live a life to myself, not the life expected of me. This article reinforced the notion that our lives are truly our own. I found to truly live a fulfilling life, it's essential to prioritize your own happiness and well-being. Just as you would invest time and effort into understanding and nurturing a relationship with someone you deeply care for, it's crucial to do the same for yourself. Take the opportunity to explore who you are, embrace self-discovery, and gain insight to your own unique desires and passions. Remember that at the end of the day, regardless of age, circumstance, you are ultimately responsible for your own happiness. No one can make you happy if you do not want to be happy. So make sure to prioritize doing what brings joy to your life. Do you ever experience a sense of powerlessness in life where you find yourself unable to even motivate yourself to go to the grocery store for just a snack despite wanting to go? It's as if you're hesitant to do anything nice for yourself, unwilling to try new things that you've always wanted to, hesitant to take up a new hobby, or even go on a new date. Don't settle for less, as you should never believe that you are undeserving of things that you desire. However, it may be a challenge if you feel like a secondary character in your own life. It may seem as though you have no control and are restricted to invisible chains. Perhaps you wanted to explore new opportunities, but the voices in your head are already discouraging. You may think that decision-making is not your forte because you feel like a side character. Wouldn't you agree that it's time for you to reach a stage in your life where you can be break free from your comfort zone? It's time to stop being a spectator and start living life to the fullest. Deep down, you know that confining yourself is not beneficial for you. You deserve better. You need to stop watching life from the stands. In reality, regardless of your self-perception, you are the main character in your own story. You have complete control over the choices you make, not your acquaintances, not your thoughts, nobody, but yours. Your life is unique to you. No one else can live it on your behalf. Personally, I've let several opportunities slip away in life, opportunities that will never return. However, I've embraced the mindset of embracing every moment now. It's actually quite liberating. Trust me, you would like to join Rhonda and I in this liberating moment. Even if you're lacking driving skills, 
to get on that racetrack. Give it a shot. Whether it's spending time, quality time, with your loved ones or pursuing a long-held interest, Serene Mountain, surrounded by a delightful herd of goats, is your dream. Embrace it. Enjoy it. If your heart desires a nomadic lifestyle, like traveling in an RV like Rhonda and I, and exploring enchanting coastlines, don't hesitate to make it a reality. You have the power to take charge of your life and set these aspirations into motion. Time flies swiftly, sometimes even faster than we realize or led to believe. But rest assured, you truly have the ability to accomplish these dreams. It doesn't matter that they may be what's holding you back. Sometimes life has a way of throwing obstacles into your life that can bring everything to a halt. Not everyone has the luxury of being able to explore different parts of the world. I strongly encourage you to prioritize doing something for yourself within your current financial means. If you've always wanted to draw and you lack drawing skills, but you have a desire to learn, don't let anything hinder your progress. If you're going camping alone intimidates you, consider finding a friend or a companion that would go with you. Remember, there should be nothing standing in your way when it comes to doing something for yourself. It may not be easy to take the plunge and start something new, but remember, that practice makes perfect. So go ahead and give yourself a round of applause. Right now, as you're watching this video, I'm not kidding, just one clap that will do. See, I knew you'd do it. You have the power to pursue everything you want in life. It's your journey and no one else is going to take it from you. Everyone has their own path to navigate through life. So there's no need to try and conform to someone else's way of living just to fit in. Embrace the freedom of living life without fear.